Hey everybody, hello and good evening, greetings. We are in Greene County, Ohio, Zinnia, Ohio. Once again today it is uh, Tuesday, October 31st, 2017. Local time is 6.15, 752 miles to Mankato, Minnesota. We are currently traveling on this highway, Highway uh, 50. Right? Mile marker 20. Somebody had a question. Uh, is my boss keeping me in uh, Baby Blue's little sister, twin sister here until I get a new truck? The answer is no. I'm only going to be in this truck for at least until Wednesday next week. Hopefully, anyway. I miss Baby Blue. There's just something about your own, your own truck. I mean, not you own it personally, but your own personally assigned to you truck. It just like feels like home, you know. Feels like home. There, we're 24 miles to Dayton, Ohio, where we're gonna get off on I 75 North. And then uh, at a state 70 west. For the meantime, sit back, relax, and you and I enjoy this beautiful sunset. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and give Him thanks, honor, and praise Him all the grace and blessings as far as uh, what kind of truck my boss is gonna get I don't know I mentioned this before I'll mention it again for those of you who have missed it my personal choice of truck would be the Kenworth T680. That's it. I mean, as far as a company truck anyway. It's all up to the boss what kind of truck he's going to get. He was really hot on getting a Volvo. But he keeps hearing about... He keeps hearing a lot of bad report of the Volvos. As I also mentioned before, I, I'm i not one of those drivers that uh, live and breathe trucks. 
to me I'll take a I'll take any kind of a truck out there as long as it's dependable doesn't have a whole lot of maintenance doesn't break down I also mentioned the other day you know that blue Peterbilt I don't know what model that is I'm sure you guys will let me know that truck is not designed for short stub people like me man that thing is designed for tall people And uh, the boss told me that thing had a Cummins engine in it. I don't know if you guys heard it, but uh, whenever the wind blows up on the door, the wind just blows right through the door jam. So I would imagine all you gotta do is change the, you know, weather stripping, uh, weather seals. And you know, no matter what kind of truck you get, Whether it's brand new, whether it's a $300,000 truck or a piece of junker, they all have one thing in common. They have one more, one how do you say that? They have more than one moving parts so they will break down. Some are worse than others, though. But I think if I if I can read my boss right, I think he's gonna go for the. Freightliner Cascadia. Because he likes uh, he likes the availability of the Freightliner parts. The service you can get in and out from his standpoint with Peterbilt's sometimes it'll take you a day or two to get into the shop. If my boss was to get a uh, Volvo 670 or a Freightliner Cascadia, I'd rather get the Cascadia. <laughs> I'd consider the Volvo if it was the 790, the VNL, the new model. But for a 670, nah.
Welcome to Riverside, Montgomery County, Ohio. Local time is 6.35, 731 miles to Mankato, Minnesota. We are currently traveling on this highway 35. I think I said 50 on the earlier uh, segment there. Correction please. Greetings from Dayton, Ohio. Merging on to Interstate 75 northbound here.
from Brookville, Montgomery County, Ohio. Local time is 7.01. Greetings from Eaton, Ohio. I'd like to say hello and greetings to Larry and Rose, who are local residents around here. Hey, you two. How you guys doing? Just me passing by. Peace. state of Ohio entering beautiful state of Indiana Richmond Indiana that is clock time is 719 684 miles to Mankato Minnesota Minnesota 